Welcome back to the Minnesota State Mavericks Dynasty, and today, ladies and gentlemen, the number 13 Minnesota State Mavericks are at home once again in another Mountain West Conference showdown against the New Mexico Lobos. And if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. New Mexico is not very good. They're 2-8 and eight on the season, and uh, we're looking to take advantage and put ourselves in the 10-win category in the NCAA rankings. So... With that being said, let's go to the top 25. We had a bit of a shakeup here in that top 25. Uh, let's take a look and see what we got. Uh, Iowa, uh, Texas and Iowa still are on top of one and two, still undefeated, and still could both you know make some noise or get upset possibly. Iowa doesn't play this week, so they are safe. Uh, they do have one game left on their schedule, which is Nebraska. Uh, Texas plays Iowa State, and then they play Kansas. So that's two easy wins in a row, I feel like unfortunately well Iowa State could upset them I'm not sure we'll see it's at Ames it's at Ames Iowa today so we don't know uh, Kansas that seems like a pretty easy win and Kansas State will be pretty tough since they are also in the top 10 Michigan State at number three Florida at number four number five Oklahoma six through ten is Kentucky Kansas State uh, Miami Southern Miss at nine and oh and LSU at 10 11 through 20 we have TCU Auburn Minnesota State Washington, uh, Virginia Tech, Navy, Georgia, Michigan, Stanford, and Clemson. And then 21 through 25 is Boise State, uh, Ole Miss, Houston, uh, Western Michigan, and Arizona. They took their first loss of the season last week against Washington State. That's a pretty bad loss, to be honest. I, I was kind of shocked by it, but we'll see how they how they respond here. Other receiving votes go to uh, Tennessee, Ohio, San Diego State, Northern Illinois, South Florida, Yukon, South Carolina, Cincinnati, and Wisconsin. Uh, all those teams, Wisconsin, or not Wisconsin, uh, Cincinnati, North Carolina, Alabama, South Carolina have all dropped out of the top 25. Alabama's been really inconsistent this year, and I, I'm kind of glad, too, because I don't want to see them as champs. I don't think they have been champions in this dynasty since we started it. But take a look here at the uh, Mountain West Conference standings. Uh, one more win should do it for us as far as clinching the mountain comp side of the conference. Um, Boise State's got the right on our tail. They could easily come and take that spot. Air Force at 4-2. and two. Uh, Same with Utah State, but uh, both are bowl eligible. Colorado State, 3-7. and seven. New Mexico and Wyoming, both 2-8. and eight. And on the western side, we have San Diego State uh, on top right now, but they're only a half game ahead of UNLV and Hawaii. Uh, Fresno State also bowl eligible at six and five. Nevada and San Jose State are both uh, both lost their both bowl eligibility for the season. Um, so let's that's we have some good teams in this conference. We really do. Um, Heisman watch has Brett Brown gotten into the conversation again? No, he has not. Uh, but Joiner still up there, even though with a loss that he had, he still is in this conversation. Um, I would make the case that uh, Brett Brown is better, but. Now we have bowl projection season coming out here, and they have us projected to go to the Las Vegas Bowl against Oregon. A little bit disrespectful, not going to lie, um, but, I mean, this is kind of what we get for playing in a non-Power 5 conference, I, but I'm pretty sure even Boise State has a better game than us this time around. Um, Boise State. Did I, I, I didn't see Boise. Oh, wait, they're playing in the Pie and Bowl. Never mind. That, that's what it looks like so far. That could easily change. Uh, San Diego State playing in the Hawaii Bowl. Um, anybody else from our conference got a bowl game? Hawaii, uh, Advocare Bowl, Florida State versus Hawaii. Uh, let's see another one here. UNLV's got the Armed Forces uh, Armed Forces Bowl. Um, let's see any more. Anybody else? I don't think we're gonna get much else. Oh, Fresno State's got the Heart of Dallas Bowl. They got a January Bowl, as a matter of fact. Hmm. Now, nah, it looks like that's it for at least our conference. That, that, like I said, things can change. Uh, so, we'll see how this rest of the season goes. New Mexico's not a very good team, but we got to watch out for them still. They could come up and surprise, but surprise us. And with that being said, I will see you guys on the field. And we are underway here from Mankato as we're going to receive the kickoff. Carol Dickerson from the end zone. And he's going to get out to the 22, 23-yard line. That's not bad. 
Brett Brown coming out for his final home game of his career, man. Nice attack here. Oh, they're blitzing. Joe Cooper. Gain of 18. You know, we're going to come right at you. We're going to make you pay for being that aggressive. Gain of six. First down. I was kind of doubting if I should be that aggressive at first, but it paid off. Oh, perfect zinger right to Joe Cooper again for a first down. Look at this big guy. All right, there you go, Brown. First down. Downtown Brown. First down. He's on the run. He's gonna score. Oh, baby. There you go. There you go. Okay, um, here's an opening inside the ten. Okay, we may, we slowed him down. Man, this is one of those option offenses. Okay, come on, stand tough defense. Just like the past few weeks that we've done this, you got this. Stand tough. There you go. Goal line stand by the defense. This kind of defense is what wins football games, dude. This is the type of defense that wins championships. The chemistry on this offense is incredible. Over the middle to Jacob Jackson first down. Kentucky keeping up, or Missouri keeping up with uh, Kentucky. Interesting to see. First down there on the uh, little dink and dump. Oh, geez. Oh, look at this. Toughness, man. That's tough. That's toughness. Let's go. Quick, Scoob. Help me out here. Oh, they're not blitzing. Wozlik. Gain of six. Oh, Jacob Jackson gain of 16. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you. First down again. Boy, this poor defense. Yard line. It's second down. Scooter. Oh wait, he was down, dude. He was he was down. There was no doubt about it. That ball was not that he was on the ground. Don't try and take that away from me. Oh, perfect. Zing it right in there for a touchdown, baby. Time's ticking. Oh, no way. No way. Time out. Let's go. No way. No way. It wouldn't matter either way if I ran it or pass it. So I was thinking, like, oh, I could just run down the clock. No, I can't do that here. Oh, touch pass to Henry Dillon. What a throw. What a catch.
Oh, Henry Dillon right there, first down. They Free release. That's that's the worst part. That's when you get a tight end on a free release. That's a three yards to pick up the first down. There we go. First down again from Scooter. Touchdown. We don't mess around here. We don't. We're going to go straight for the jugular. 21-3. Third down screen pass. I can see it. Oh, Hayden with the sack. My man, Robbie Hayden, out here making plays. Oh, my goodness, Manny. Right through the middle. Just go and get him. Go and get him. First down. Let's go, man. Get a, give me a couple. That's all I asked for. Just give me a couple. Oh, we got more than a couple. Jackson Wazlick gain of four. Another first down. On third down so far. Not, not that that's like super important to get all these perfect third down conversions. But. Oh, but we got another one. Henry Dillon putting in the extra effort. Wiggins over the middle, first down. Nice play to set up first Kelvin goal. Wiggins' first career catch. Goal from the 15. Oh, over the top, Henry Dillon, and the streak continues. Touchdown. In the second down and long situation. Try it again. Oh, it's intercepted! Oh, I dropped it back into coverage and it got picked off. Oh my goodness! Oh my God! To Dylan again over the top touchdown. Suspected because it is New Mexico we're talking about. They're not very good. Oh, I almost got the interception again. I dropped him back, and I saw it. They got that. They got that screen pass off pretty quickly too. They did that one super quick. Ah, oh, crap! I missed him. Like, I, I read the play, and I messed it up. That was my bad. My B. Uh, you're just being cheeky, and it's not, the, it's not the correct way of playing this game. Nope. Jackson. Jacob Jackson with the stop? And what universe is this? And they're going to get their touchdown, and that's going to be it for them. They're not going to They're not gonna get 20. This will be the fourth straight game where we've held an opponent under 20 points. I mean, we have four touchdown passes. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Less than three minutes in the game. Eh, we'll, we'll just keep the clock running. Great job here and shutting down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks up. Kick is good, baby. Oh. I don't want to go down this rabbit hole. Just under two to go in the game. Screen. Oh, it's intercepted by Vincent Bolin. What a play. What a defense. And that is another win for the Minnesota State Mavericks today. 
as that is now 10 straight wins for the team. We're now 10 and 1 on the season. And next week we play UNLV, who's also a pretty good team. Um, we play them at UNLV, so it should be pretty interesting. Final score here, 38 to 10. This is that was our fourth straight game we, where we've held a team to two touchdowns or less. Our defense is playing lights out, and our offense is backing it up as well, doing their usual work, putting up points, and getting all the good numbers. So if you guys are excited for next week against UNLV, and if you like this video, make sure you guys drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, subscribe for more content. Really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. We're trying to grow the channel and make the dream a reality. Until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance. Peace out.